Um, okay, so there's a couple of quick things I want to cover, and then we're going to do a quick plus delta. Um, so the first thing is, please do not forget to fill out your evaluation. Um, when you are leaving, uh, folks from RCAP Solutions that are collecting evaluations, can you raise your hand? Okay, they will trade you for your thumb drive, which again will have a copy of all the presentations you got to see today, as well as the um, research uh, report. Uh, the full one. We will be following up with you um, with some additional materials and a thank you for your attendance and you'll have digital links to some of the other uh, resources that we talked about today. Um, other things, um, I wanted to give folks an opportunity. Um, if any of you have any additional questions for any of the panelists or any of the other folks, you can certainly ask them now, um, or you can follow up with any of the folks um, in Pennsylvania and they'll be able to get some answers for you. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say, not that I want to plug RCAP, um, but I did just want to mention, I know that some of the Pennsylvania staff just walked out, um, but we do have four staff here in Pennsylvania that are located in different parts of the state. And if you're interested in regional collaboration, please reach out to them, but also they can potentially provide all kinds of different technical managerial and financial training and technical assistance for both water and wastewater. So don't be shy about reaching out to RCAP because we're here to help you guys. Um, so with that, we're going to do a quick plus delta unless there are any other questions. All right. Okay, so we're going to transition to a, a quick uh, plus delta like Sarah had mentioned. Is anybody familiar with this process at all? Has anybody been part of it? Not an R cap or put your hands down. I know you've been part of it. Okay, so what we're going to do on the pluses, um, we're like like we had mentioned before. This is the second event like this we've done, and we have another one planned or that we're going to start planning for in the fall. So we want to continue to improve, and this is uh, part of the process along with the evaluations that help us do that. On the pluses, uh, we're just looking for feedback, things that you really enjoyed that you think were. Uh, the most valuable parts of this are things that you think should absolutely stay a part of it. So we're going to start with the pluses, and then we'll transition to the deltas, which are things you think that it could be improved upon. Um, that could be anything from um, the, the timing and the way everything played out, or uh, certain speakers you think, or uh, different, different session changes, or anything along those lines. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with the pluses. Uh, do I have any takers? I thought the wastewater um, addition was fabulous. I thought that was a really nice um, uh, forum for that discussion. I thought it was really helpful um, to bring that wastewater uh, aspect into the conversation. <clears throat> this isn't really a plus. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, it does, I mean, it really does apply. I mean, I just want the group to know that over all the years I've been working at PennVest, that um, I've been really involved with um, Sook on some projects, and she's been very supportive of a lot of the projects that PennVest has done. Um, and also, you know, a big shout out to Derek. I, you know, I contacted him a while ago. I had a small municipal or a small authority that probably shouldn't have been their own system and should have regionalized from the very get-go. Uh, but when things went really, really south, um, Derek went out there and, and really worked with them. So a, a shout out to you guys. Thank you. So I'm sorry. I... No, thank you. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> um, any other things about the event that you guys felt were really positive and you want to make sure that when we do these in the future, we recreate? I think the update on funding sources is indispensable. Uh, I've learned some things and I've been involved in it constantly for eight years. Yeah. Oh, yes. So I love the thumb drive takeaway that we have all the presentations readily available to share with others. I just like to, I personally like to well round this up, the different topics that were brought up. If you continue to do those, uh, 
not focusing on any one thing, even though it was all one topic. I like that you brought people in from different states to realize it's not just my little community in Pennsylvania, that it actually is everywhere. Because I think we get so stuck in our own little valleys or little birds and we think it's just us. So I didn't realize how bad it was everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in it together. <laughs> So, one of the things that's really nice about it is also one of the things that's not so nice about it, and that is recognizing that all the problems are uniform and all the topics end up being the same. It's nice for everyone to do that. It's nice to see that the solutions can be somewhat similar. That's all great. And then the downside of it is to find a way to condense the repetitiveness of it to, to make it um, you know, more keeping, you know, so both, it's, it's both a positive and a, a negative at the same time. Okay. Uh, on that, before anybody else raises their hand, uh, just for my own curiosity too, we had, uh, Illinois was a day and a half, and based off feedback we got there, we, re we reduced it to a day. Um, what were your thoughts on that? Because I, I think that's part of the subject that you're talking about there, um, with repetitiveness. You, you like the day format? Or? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. On the same topic, I might say that more time with the panel and maybe less time with the group work, because I thought maybe some of the repetition came in with the group. Yeah. The second group yep. seemed to be a lot of the same of what we did for the first group, mm -hmm. yep. and I would love to have heard from the experts on the panels more. Even the small panel, I mean, that was like light bulb. I think we have enough material that was covered today. We could have three more of these meetings on each individual subject. So I, what I would recommend is that it's almost like you're prepping for a, a different route. So if you're an engineer or consultant, you know, there's a, a track for you to go on to something else. And if, there's, if you're just a, a local borough guy who might or might not come back, there might be more detailed borough specific presentation for you as a follow-up presentation. There are enough, there's enough material here to make several of these kind of in more depth. I guess that makes me think of, uh, you know, if everybody here somewhat shared their experiences with you know, five other people locally, then it would kind of um, spread the word that there are people thinking along these lines in the Commonwealth. Um, I, I think we need to engage more people in this. Um, I was encouraged to see that there were some legislators' offices represented because I think they can be local champions. Where, like, I, at DEP, I mean, we can't be a local champion for this. We certainly have a part to play, but we can't be going out and saying, you know, I mean, we have certain roles that we have to play, right? Yeah. And our, our role is not as local champion. Yeah, and that was and on, on that thought, you know, I, I was thinking about that earlier since we have the thumb drive because, you know, we have we have a lot of being an L D D we have uh, you know, we work with all the different uh, counties and our six counties, you know, whether we do the first do a presentation with all of our six you know, like our planning uh, staff is one of our peers that we can assist. Mm -hmm. Um and, but then maybe reach out, you know, have all those and then they maybe I get you know, talk to our job. They get some other thumb drives or tell them I'm going to either copy it or, you know, make another copy of them so they can then share it with their municipalities. And but we also get together with a lot of our municipalities through other meetings and stuff because we are an LED. So, I mean, I think, you know, those are um, unique organizations we are because we have so much contact through transportation and everything like that. Stacy, we'd be happy to, to do a, a local presentation. I was thinking about that. Yeah. Um, so, I understand about the sort of, are there more specific topics that come in, but I'd be really careful because we can, we all go to our conferences for our area. So if you're an engineer, you probably go to engineering things. I'm an attorney, everybody hates attorneys, I know. <laughs> but I go to attorney things, you know. And, and it was nice in this group for me to hear from 
small systems from the RCAP people, from, you know, I see the DEP folks probably the most, but it's nice to sort of see them in this context. So having those different uh, stakeholder viewpoints, I thought was really important here. As a person who made that comment, I would totally agree. Yeah, I what, I, what I was trying to say was, you know, it would be nice to see at Pentec, the engineers conference, the presence of RCAP as yeah. a sort of transition to a little more detail on some of the engineering related stuff. And, and likewise, you know, like at PRWA or WWOAP, um, I mean, operators are like the backbone of the water industry, right? Um, but I think a, a lot of, you know, some of the threats get very personal. The, the threats that come with collaboration, you know, in its different forms may be very personal for an operator. So for an operator to understand that they have a vital role and will continue to have a vital role and no one's going to be left behind in any of this process because you, you can't operate a water system whether it's a little burg or a municipal authority that covers multiple townships without operators. So, I mean, operators need to understand that they won't be left behind because you can't run a water system without an operator. And we don't have enough of them to go around as it is. So we're not going to be looking to discard any of them. So they're as much a partner as any of the various entities in the room. So I, I think a presence of RCAP at PRWA and kind of making a relationship with operators so that they know that you value them. You're talking about collaborations, but you also value the operator and you're, you're pledging to bring them to the table and not leave them out. You know, would be great. And I'm just gonna share something that, that Luke and his team uh, came up with that they started doing in Florida. And I have to go to the first one as well as Laura. Um, but they started to put together quarterly operator breakfasts in like a, a, a small area in Florida where various operators can come together and just have a meal and share ideas and best practices, but to really kind of get that voice and not just having this collaboration happen at the top, but having the collaboration be supported and happen throughout all levels of the utility. I don't know if you can get brave souls to do this, but it would have been very interesting today to get an actual <coughs> group going through this, an authority, a small town, a small system, a bigger system, people who are actually going through this, not just theory, but, you know, the real deal, real people going through it, you know, now that may be hard to have people get up on a podium or stage and, and do that in front of a group, but, you know, I, I, if it's possible, I think for me personally, it would be interesting to see what they have to say. You know, what are they considering? What are the issues? Mm -hmm. I mean, they could they bring their engineer if they want, oh. whatever. Right. So, so like a communities panel? Yeah, but, 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 some, but a group actually going discussing regionalization now, right now. Right. A little different. I mean, I, I will say that in Illinois, um, the panel that they had, they kind of had a couple of folks that are, have been in various stages. So there were people that have kind of gone through it and could talk about it, but then there were also folks that were really at the outset that were able to talk about, you know, some of the challenges and fears and things that were happening before they kind of got to the end. So you were able to kind of see the A and the Z, um, but I, I appreciate that comment for sure. Yeah, people said things here today that I would love to follow up with them and see what they meant or see what their situation was. Um, if there was a way to have a, participa or a participant list in the, fi in the folder at the beginning of the day with some contact information so that after the conference, you know, I didn't have time to talk to them today, but I could email them and say, you know, what did you mean by that? Or I think you're in the same situation we are. Um, I think it would, and you've got a good agenda, a good schedule, so <clears throat> you can't build that much more time into that. Right. So, know. but what I, what I will say is, is I think that we're on that same page, but I think our plan was to make sure that folks were okay with that and do it after instead of kind of do it automatically. So I would say for everyone that's here, um, you know, we do have the emails of 
basically everyone that came or everyone that was invited. Um, so I would say that if you are uncomfortable with having your name and contact information shared, please let Derek know and we can be sure not to include you on the list. But otherwise, when we send up send out the follow-up email with a couple of different resources, we would be happy to provide that contact list because we would love for you guys to collaborate and learn from one another as well. Just a, a real generalized takeaway that's super positive, yeah. and that is the fact that you know, a lot of offer everybody knows they need continuing education and they go to class all the time. And often the subjects are, 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 are stale because they've been repeated so many times. But this is the first time in my 20 years of, of this industry of having this subject actually spoken about on this platform. And that's really positive that someone recognized the need for that and organized this and is continuing to push it. So I just encourage more of exactly what you did today. So good. Uh, just in terms of the participant list being available at the so you could ask that question as part of your registration. I think one of the issues that we all came up with here is we don't have young people that want to get involved. So somewhere along the line, someone getting them involved, they want to go to college or they want to go, it needs to be in both tech school or it needs to be in college, you want to do the engineering part but the operator part to run a treatment plant, you know, something of that, that somewhere we need to be promoting that more within our everywhere, schools everywhere, because we're, we're all looking pretty old in here. We're doing all Except for a few young. Cool. Yeah. 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 That category. <laughs> Five minutes. Oh. All right, so any any final comments before we close? The food was delicious. Yay! Thank you, Diana. Yay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Um, well, thank you, everybody, for all of your time, all of your insights. We look forward to continuing to work with all of you. Please turn in your evaluations and get your thumb drives. And we will be releasing the report tomorrow morning to the public. So please feel free to share it with your organizations. Um, you can also find it online. The link will go live at 8 a.m. on our cap.